Hi, hey, how are you? How's it going? The pressure of existing has reached new levels of impossible. Not to get on here just to complain because I would never do that. I'm exceptional, I'm an angel, I never have flaws. <laughs> but can we all agree that the standard for basic human existence has reached an impossible standard? Like how are we supposed to do this? When, where, and why? <laughs> The further we get into uh, a technological future, a very self-aware future, um, I get deeply overwhelmed <laughs> from a visual self-awareness, always you know, looking good, being caught up on trends, having a good haircut, a different haircut, a new style, a different style, to being very conscious of the globe, what's happening in the news, what's changing in societal norms and standards, dwindling down to many, many other things like having a fruitful social life, having a lot of friends, seeing the world, experiencing this little thing that we like to call life, learning, growing, making money, making friends, making moves, hustle, hustle, hustle. It's fucking exhausting. Maybe this is just me, but I feel like I'm just constantly overwhelmed by everything the world has to offer in these modern times. It just kind of sends me into a place of like nothing matters because everything is possible. How can I possibly make an impact? How can my tiny, 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 tiny life possibly matter when I'm seeing everyone else seemingly do it 50,000 times better. So that's where I'm at. Would you like to know the only note that I wrote down for this video? The only thing I wrote down was a little quote by a famous philosopher called Jenna Marbles. Life is so short, but also like terribly and insufferably long at the same time. She just fucking gets it. Shit, who we fighting? Let's not get fully dystopian. I'm like actually in a really good place in life in terms of mental stability. Like I don't want to unalive myself. You know, I, I consider that a win. Like the ground floor level here is just like not myself. <laughs> And honestly, I will say that is a great perspective to have because if you've ever been in a really negative mental space or a space where you think like, yeah, it just might not be better to be here, whether, you know, that's it's completely rational, irrational, it doesn't matter. It's a great way to go through life of like, well, at least I'm here. At least I have the chance to be here. At least I can feel pressure. At least I can feel hope, hopeless, everything in between. At least I can feel it. At least I can feel it. I think people are very overstimulated right now. We are constantly made aware of everything that is happening in the world, whether it is important or not important at any given time. Somebody tell me how to disable news notifications to my fucking phone. This is evil. I love you and I also fucking despise you so much. You I make it sound like this hasn't been a thing for all of human existence. Like, I do think everyone has always felt a certain level of pressure, regardless of social media, regardless of the internet, regardless of having a little magical box in our back pocket at all times. I think being young is just a time where you do feel like everything is monumental, everything is pivotal. And frankly, it's because a lot of the time it, it kind of is like no one really wants to tell you that. No one really wants to say, yeah, th these decisions, they're kind of they're pretty important. Like you going to college and choosing a job is kind of important. Like it's expensive in America. And, you know, you are committing four years to that career path. And then when you get out of it, you have a lot of debt. So you can't really look back. You can't really change. There's no real way out of this. You've, you've done it. You've committed all at age 18. Your brain is like 60% developed at 18 and you had to make all those decisions. I said I wasn't gonna be negative, but oh my God, this is, whoa. I, hmm, hmm. Feeling very small at the moment. It's pressure. It's a lot of pressure. And whether you can boil that down to some philosophical thing to make you feel better, 
about our existence and about how hard it is or how easy it is, you know, that's up to you. You definitely can do that. I try to be all like roses and cherries all the time. Roses and cherries? Roses and cherries. I, I could fuck with some roses and cherries. Rainbows and butterflies. Butterflies by Casey Musgraves. Stream it on Spotify now. Actually, I think Spotify is canceled. Hmm. Speaking of canceled, don't get me started. I feel like I can never post the right thing because there's always something more correct to post. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's always something I'm ignoring and I hate that because I want everyone to be seen. I want everyone to be heard. I want everyone to be good and to be better, but with a platform online, big or small. I mean, I'm sure fucking Sarah in Idaho feels this way too sometimes of like, I don't know, I should be posting about this, but I'm posting about this, or I should be caring about this, but I'm caring about this. I'm excited to see the Batman, but I'm also really, really sad that there's a war going on. It's a really tough thing. And I think we don't give people enough credit for even the fact that they want to do the right thing. Like it shouldn't really be a standard, but guess what? I think it kind of is. I see a lot of people not doing the right thing all the time. Oh boy, are they doing the wrong thing all the time. So maybe just the desire is enough. Maybe just wanting is enough. Maybe we're enough. Maybe it's enough. Maybe I've had enough. Let's just take a look at Twitter, which is never a good idea. Number one trending topic. China is currently battling the worst outbreak of COVID since the beginning of the pandemic. That's so happy. I'm so glad I know that now. Or we can skip right over that and learn more about Kristen Stewart making her red carpet debut with her fiance. Me thinks me will choose the gay love. When I think back to the times that I have been the most stressed or the most exhausted or the most mentally strained, usually it's coming from good old number one right here. Usually the pressure has weirdly been created by myself. We set ourselves up to be defeated by giving ourselves impossible standards. And the reality is we can't do it all. We can't be it all. We can't know it all. You just can't. You can try your best, but you are setting yourself up for failure if you think you're gonna succeed in that. Let me tell you a very quick story, just bear with me. <laughs> in high school, I was a national competitive swimmer. Should have been number one reason why you knew I was gay. All the men in their Speedos at the time. Oh Lord, how did no one know? <laughs> oh my God, it was so much all the time. I would put in hours of hours and hours in the pool all for one big swim meet i'm talking six days a week three of those days were two a days let me do some quick math here that is six times two three times two minimum 18 hours underwater i was a fucking fish all leading up to one moment in my swimming career. It was my life, it was my soul, it was my joy, it was what I put into. And one of the biggest moments we had, we got to the final competition, it was a relay. We get to our final race, state competition, state competitive, not to get competitive, but we were competitive. And we disqualified ourselves. We DQ'd, and by we, I mean me. I DQ'd our potentially national competitive relay with a false start. I got two excited and ruined all of those hours, all of those days, all of those weeks of training because it was so much pressure that I false started. I never false start. Never. Never. You should know that. In every situation you're thinking of right now, you little dirty pervert. <laughs> Jesus, my mom watches these. <laughs> And it ruined me. It devastated me. I cried myself to sleep that night. Like a Nicholas Sparks movie. This turned into a long story, but the long story short is we still made it. We still won. <laughs> the next day, we came back because we had another opportunity to win. And I had forgotten about the day previous because we still managed to make our goal. We managed to make and meet our mark, the hours, the weeks, the days, the months, it wasn't not worth it. It may have felt like it in that moment, the moment yesterday. So many tears, there were so many tears left to cry. Fuck you, Ariana Grande, I have so many tears left to cry. <laughs> and I think that's a lot how life works. 
It's very turbulent. Bad things happen all the time and it can really feel like the end of the world, the end of your world. But in a weird way, in a very cheesy way, you never know what tomorrow holds. You have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen tomorrow. So all of this pressure you're putting on yourself, all of these emotions you're feeling constantly, it's not that they're all for nothing, but it's, it's important to realize that they aren't everything. I mean, they're valid, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that they may be situational. The pressure that you may be feeling may be put on yourself by yourself in that very moment, and tomorrow it may completely change. Does that make sense? If that makes sense. I feel like that makes sense. Under pressure, dun 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 dun. Getting older is, uh, is tough, and everyone's doing it right now. You're actually older than you were. A second ago and and now and now so go easy on yourself i think that's important to remember it may not always be easy to practice but i think we can try our best and hopefully we get better at it as times change and as we do too that was equal parts cheesy equal parts helpful anyways i hope you're doing well i hope you're loving life if you enjoyed the video of course click the like button leave a comment down below where the heck are you at right now let's make it a therapy session i missed y'all i really really did if you want a little bit more of me go listen to my podcast down below go check out my instagram my twitter my tiktok etc but i will uh i'll see you in the next one okay bye I don't think the microphone's picking it up, but there is some serious drama going on outside. Like six sirens, a partridge, and in a pear tree, and a pear tree. <laughs> Name one time you've seen a partridge or a pear tree. I'll wait. I'll wait. I, I, do, I would take a nap if my mind weren't thinking about 50 other things right now.